The Crackpot Quail is not too bad, though quite predictable. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1941, directed by Tex Avery and written by Rich Hogan, with voices provided by Mel Blanc and Tex Avery. And this is about a quail who is being chased by not a very intelligent dog. And the quail keeps outsmarting the dog. The dog keeps getting into some pretty entertaining situations. I mean, I use the word entertaining lightly. On its own, the cartoon's not too bad, but there are many, many cartoons where a dumb dog is chasing after a character. And I feel like this dog was the same as all of the others. And that's not always the case. There are some times when a cartoon has a similar structure to this, but the characters are quite unique or quite fascinating, but this one, not so much. So there are two ways of looking at it. Judging it on its own, it's, it's well animated, the pacing is good, the characters are okay. The quail is quite interesting and I like the design of the quail. I think it looks good. The dog has a good animation style. I think the way it moves, particularly when it runs, it looks really good and the character is quite likeable. So on its own, it ticks all of the boxes. It's not too bad. But when you've seen one cartoon like this, you've kind of seen it all. And there's no real element of surprise. A lot of the humour is very similar. The way the dog talks is very similar. And that's not just cartoons that come after this, but some that are dated slightly earlier as well. So on its own, it's okay. But it's a very similar to a lot of other cartoons. The quail character meant it was a little bit different. I can't think of another one where where the quail is the character being chased. I could be wrong, there could be another one that I'm just not remembering or maybe even haven't seen. But certainly that meant it had an element of, of being unique. But the dog was just like so many other characters that I didn't find the dog as a character to be that fascinating and the events that unfold are very predictable as well. So it's okay. If you're trying to watch every Warner Brothers cartoon as I am, then give it a go. It's not bad. But if you're looking for something that's interesting and maybe a little bit different or even just not predictable, there are a lot of cartoons I'd recommend before the Crackpot Quail.